Hi, I thought I'd give a review of our new Samsung washer. I've had it about a month now, so I think I can give it a fair evaluation. Uh, it's, here it is on the outside, pretty handsome I think. Um, it's got a see-through glass door, but you can't really see much if you are if you don't have a showroom floor lighting. So, well you see a lot of glare here, but for me it's like dark tinted glass, so you, you can't really see much inside the machine when it's running. There are no lights on inside or anything. Um, well here's how it is on the inside. Uh, you can see there's no central agitator, so it will be a little gentler on your clothes and also gives you a lot more room, especially when you're doing things like pillows, comforters, things like that. So, oh, and just more room for bigger loads. So yeah, we like that. Um, it is a little deep though, the drum. So yeah, if you're maybe five five or shorter, you'll you'll have a bit of trouble reaching all the way to the bottom. But uh, let's see. Here's the tray where you put in the detergent. Uh, only use high efficiency detergent. Um, otherwise, it could like suds up, um, overflow, damage your machine. Bad things. Um, this is a little flimsy though, so make sure it's closed uh, when you're loading the clothes. You don't, wouldn't want to damage it. Um, the bleach you pour in here, um, and they have a warning on this side. Uh, no waterproof stuff, mats, or um, and we also say shoes in the booklet. So I guess nothing really heavy <laughs> that could uh, bang bang against the sides. Um, okay, let's look at the controls. Um, they're all dark. You have to turn the power on. Uh, it has automatic power off, so if you leave it for a while, it will automatically shut off, save power. Um, but, uh, yeah, a bunch of different cycles, what everything you'd expect. Uh, changing those adjusts the estimated time remaining, which is pretty accurate in our experience. So yeah, you can do extra spin and rinse. And yeah, these cycles last pretty long, but uh, I guess that's typical uh, nowadays with the high efficiency machines. Um, the one cycle you might rec not recognize is pure cycle, which is their Samsung's name for self-clean. Um, they'll so don't put in any clothes or or detergent in. It'll just do like a hot water steam clean of itself when you when you run that, and uh, the machine automatically will recommend running pure cycles every once in a while, like every twenty loads or something. Um, the other setting that is a little tricky is actual cold water. There are five settings, not four. If you want totally unheated water, then use this one called tap cold um, with no light. Uh, cold, I suppose, is slightly heated. Um, the spin cycles uh, can go pretty high. This is 800 reps per minute on high, which leaves the clothes pretty pretty dry, uh, which means we never have to run our dryer extra time, uh, can take things out earlier, uh, or some things we just pick right out of the washer and we don't need to put in the dryer. So yeah, it's nice, we'll save some energy for the dryer with the high spin cycle, um, which kind of makes up for the longer washing time. Uh, one other thing is the door will lock if you uh, are too far into the cycle, so make sure you get everything in early. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to start all over. Um, but that's not really a problem because they have these extra options, delay start, pre-soak, extra rinse, and yeah, you can do more rinse and spins if you like. Um, you can also save a custom cycle with, with this button. Uh, I, I would have to look it up how to do it, but uh, you can save your own settings. And 
yeah, that's pretty much it. How, how to use it, anyway. Um, when I ordered this, I, Home Depot made me order new uh, hoses. Um, I think my old ones are functional, but I guess, yeah, when they get older, there's a possibility of them bursting or leaking. And, uh, I guess I'm happy to get the new ones. Uh, it's just a little surcharge that I wasn't expecting. Um, the guys who came to install it took away the old one, which was which was nice. Um, but they came in really fast, and I think they, they could have spent a little more time. The instructions recommend leveling the machine. Uh, the front feet front feet can adjust. You spin them to adjust the height, and uh, that prevents it from walking across the floor if it's one level. It uh, wasn't really a problem, but uh, have the insulation guys make sure that it's it's totally flat. Um, yeah, we selected this machine because of uh, a high recommendation on Consumer Reports. It was a top rated for uh, their ranking for top loading machines. Uh, it wasn't the recommended buy because there are other ones cheaper that did about the same same job, but uh, yeah, we're happy with it. Uh, they, they did recommend, if you don't go with this specific model, stick with either LG or Samsung. They have the best uh, reliability, lowest repair rate of different brands. Um, and I also consulted the Energy Star website uh, to get Something pretty good. Uh, if you want the very best efficiency, you would get a side loading washer, but that's more expensive and you'd have to probably buy a pedestal to make it comfortable, which is another expense. So it would have been about twice as much for us. So we, we stuck with this guy. And yeah, we're pretty happy with it. And yeah, if you don't like chimes, you can turn that off in the settings. <laughs> Well, hope you like this review.